Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Interrupt Science Day Rambles. This video is going to be up a little late because I actually took a nap and woke up at 8.35. So, um, I had a, a bunch to catch up on. So, um, thank God I DR'd the show. So, we're doing uh, The Flash Season 4, Episode 14 called Subject 9. And we start off with awkwardness at the police station. Um, yeah. And it tells us thing and... He wants him to take a leave of absence indefinitely until they can prove that DeVoe is actually alive. Alive. And then we cut to where the team strategizes is and try and finds um a Nizzy Bowen who has a CD and they figure that's the next person they need to track. And so Cisco vibes it and it's a girl and she's at the bus saddle saddle right now singing. And so DeVoe is also tracking her and is not really impressed and collapses and the mechanic tells her that there's too much dark energy that is causing DeVoe to fall down and to mess up because there's a lot of dark matter in, her, in the system of DeVoe because he keeps absorbing all these people and all their powers along with it and that's putting a strain on the host. So DeVoe um, still wants to move forward anyway with taking Izzy. And then they see Barry there with Ralph. And then we see Barry talk to Izzy. Izzy refuses um, their help and uses her sonic powers and escapes. Then Harry runs into Cecile at Jitters. And she is hearing Joe's dreams and she's kind of over it. She wants to actually sleep. And so he might be able to help. Then Barry can't find Izzy, so uh, Ralph says to check her website, which no one did. So they check it and they find her and wants to see with DeVoe. Then Izzy blasts DeVoe and actually hurts DeVoe. And so the cannon pops in and saves her and um, pops out. Then Izzy is almost having a. Um, her bit break so she that's why she's kind of freaking out she's like on the cusp of having a bit break and everything and she wants to continue doing that but Barry's trying to tell her don't do that we're trying to look out for the best view that whole thing and uh Barry uh says she says no when Barry says like we're, we want to train you and so then Ralph goes to talk to her and convince her to stay then we had to vote it's getting really pissed off about stuff not happening right and so um, the mechanic is doubting her and then we have Izzy is training and then Cecile talks to Harry and she can't sleep still and the device he tells her to use is like over 10 pounds she's got to put it on her head and that's not fine with her because she needs to actually sleep and with that big thing on her head she can't do that so Harry gets really, really nasty. Then Harry, and then Cecile reads um, her his mind, and basically just tells him just to calm down. <laughs> and then Izzy is missing uh, Ralph uh, with the training because like the first time they hit, really, really, um, it was like dead on, and then she starts missing and stuff. And you know, Iris is like, we should let up, and Barry's like wants to continue to push her so he uses like the ski things that you use for on um, target practice and she does really well with that so for the last one kind of got stuck in her arm and then Iris uh, talks to Barry and basically says like don't be ruthless like DeVoe just be kind of nurturing and even though we're not going as fast as you want to go we can't just like train them into heroes just like that you just can't do that and of course he says well, you're right so he's trying to ease up a little bit then we cut to where harry talks to Cecile again and gives her a 2.0 version of the inhibitor to help inhibit her it's like to dampen her brain waves i think i'm not 100 percent sure on that and then we cut to um him trying to befriend her and so they talk and he gets an idea so he she tells him to go do it by reading his mind and so um then Izzy wants to leave and actually blasts Ralph out of the way so she can leave and then we cut to where Harry is creating a cerebral inhibitor 
and it says we get a callback from the Savitar reference. And then we have Izzy is calling out DeVoe through um, Cisco vibing her. And so DeVoe shows up, and then since it's Cisco, the DeVoe shuts him down and knocks him out. Then it's Flash versus DeVoe, and uh, is basically giving him a brain, uh, brain aneurysm and basically puts Barry out on his butt. And then uh, she also, then DeVoe also kills Ralph, and then Izzy puts the inhibitor on, but she turned it off and made it pop off her head, thanks for a bad luck uh, thing. So, makes her have good luck. And then we have DeVoe takes Izzy, the Ralph gets really devastated, and then Harry blames himself because he don't think he's smart enough to handle DeVoe. And then we have Cisco says um, he might be in another dimension called a pocket dimension and that um, he's working on tracking it. Then Harry talks to Cecile and tells him to talk to Jesse. Then Barry talks to Ralph and actually Ralph helps him out. That gives him like a business card so they're technically partners and stuff. So actually that was a really uh, touching moment because Barry's like, you like me, you really like me. <laughs> Type of thing, which is kind of funny. Um, and that was the end of the episode. Oh, uh, well actually the very end of the episode is Izzy slash DeVoe playing the um, fiddle uh, to the mechanic. And then that was the end of the episode. Um, I thought it was a really good episode. I don't think the synopsis really matched the descri like, description of the episode. Then like Barry wants, I mean, Ralph wants to quit or whatever, but anyway. Uh, A plus episode. I really enjoyed it. And just like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye.